Okay, before we can uh, talk just a little bit more about uh, special right triangles, we have to know about how to simplify a fraction when you've got a square root um, in the denominator. Um, the reason we do this is never leave a square root in a denominator. That's a big no-no in math. The, the main reason is it makes it hard to add fractions. Um, but we just don't like to do that. We like to have integer, integers in the denominators or fractions. It allows them to be much, much easier to work with if we have integers in the denominators. The how, well, if when you've got a square root, if you need to get rid of a square root, the only way to get rid of a square root is to take the square root of a perfect square. If you don't have a perfect square, then you can't do it. Well, the nice and convenient thing is, is if you've got the square root of a, the way to make it this, a perfect square is just to multiply by the square root of a because that gives you the square root of a squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the denominator by the square root in the denominator. So it's a very easy process. You just multiply by the square root. So if you've got the square root of 3 in the denominator, you multiply the denominator by the square root. And then we know that if we multiply the denominator by the square root of 3, then we have to multiply the numerator by the square root of 3. Okay, so let's look at a few examples of this. Um, 4 over the square root of 2, well, I multiply the denominator by the square root of 2. Whatever that denominator is, that's what I multiply by. The numerator, 4 times square root of 2, well, those are different types of things, so I can't multiply those together, so I just leave them as... 4 square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals the square root of 4, but the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Now, you do need to simplify um, things that are not square roots. 4 and 2 do simplify down to 2, and so we end up with 2 times the square root of 2. And you can see how much nicer 2 square root of 2 is than 4 divided by the square root of 2. But you always want to make, pay attention to being able to simplify. On the next one, we're going to multiply denominator by square root of 3. So we've got to multiply the numerator by square root of 3. We do that because square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 9, the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 equals 3. So I can rewrite this as 6 root 3 or 6 square root of 3 over, well, I could write square root of 9, but I can just skip that step and make it over 3. And just like the other problem, 6 and 3 simplify to 2, so you end up with 2 square root of 3. So... Um, let's do one more example of this. This one gets a little bit harder, but again, deciding what to multiply by is always easy. Whatever the square root in the denominator is, that's what you multiply by. Now on the top, I'm going to end up with 3 times, well, square root of 5 times square root of 6 is just square root of 30. If you've got two square roots multiplied together, you just multiply times those two square roots. And then square root of 6 times square root of 6 is just 6. You can notice that 3 and 6 are going to cancel down to a 2 in the denominator, so your answer is square root of 30 over 2. All right, so the reason we're learning this is what to do in this situation. Now notice this is, well, it should have a 45-degree angle there, a 45, 45, 90-degree triangle. There's no way to do this problem except to know what to do with the square, the square root of 2. Normally, we would say let's multiply x by square root of 2 to get 10. But that doesn't work, right, because we don't know what x is. So instead, we have to work the other direction, which is to say that x is equal to, instead of 10 something times the square root of 10, it's 10 divided by the square root of 2. And remember, we're using square root of 2 because it's a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Now, we need to simplify this. So multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 2. That gives me 10 square root of 2 on the top. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, so that's going to give you... 10 divided by 2 is 5, so you end up with 5 square root of 2. And so we find out that x is 5 square root of 2. Well, x and y turn out to be the exact same thing because it is an isosceles triangle, so y is just also 5 square root of 2. And so these, these are nice because once you find one, you find the other. Okay, on this one you have to find x and y, simplify all radicals. Well, again, usually we're given this short leg so far, but we're not given the short leg, we're given the long leg. We normally multiply by square root of 3 to get to 15. Well, we don't since we're not multiplying, we're going the opposite direction, which means we need to divide. So x is just going to be 15 over the square root of 3. 
Multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 3. We get 15 square root of 3 on the top, just 3 on the bottom. 15 over 3 is 5, and so we find out that x is 5 root 3. Now, if I want to find y, remember, short leg to the numerator. You should be in yourself telling me what you're doing, but if you haven't quite memorized it, remember that you're multiplying by 2. That's the easy one. Well, 2 times 5 square root of 3, since that's what x is, is just equals 10 square root of 3. And so y is 10 square root of 3. It's always just double what x is. Okay, so that's two examples of how to use that division. Um, you will have lots of examples like that. Uh, you got some good problems on your um, lesson sheet this week that will, will show you how to use those problems.